uh, yeah, you love the mountains, the nature, and stuff like that. I've got to ask you, though, have you ever had, like, a, like a real dangerous wildlife encounter? Yeah, I mean, I've had a few wildlife encounters over the years. I've spent many, many years living in a tent. So, yeah, you run across wildlife. I've encountered a few black bears. I saw a grizzly in Alaska. Uh, but really... More than that, the thing that scares me are moose and uh, uh, moose and mountain lions. Those are the two that kind of keep me up at night. Whoa. Why, why moose and mountain lions? Well, because, you know, everybody's afraid of bears. Everybody always, you know, one of the first questions people ask me when they hear that I've lived in the woods for a long time is, aren't you afraid of bears? They're afraid of bears. But bears are wimps. They're, they'll just run away. They're afraid of you. They're skittish um, for the most part. So they're not that big of a deal. What you really have to worry about is mountain lions because they're not going to, you have no notice. They hang in a tree. They'll sit in a tree branch above a trail and just wait for you to walk past. And when you're walking away, you just, you know, they bite you in the back of the neck or whatever. And it's all over at that point. So you don't really have a chance to do anything and respond. And uh, moose are really dangerous, um, which I think people, think they're pretty cute and cuddly and everything but but they kill a lot of people oh my god yeah okay wait a minute because i trust your opinion i have heard that it's you're less likely to be attacked by a mountain lion though like they really don't hunt humans yeah they're i mean they're super rare they're not it's it's pretty rare but i have you know i've had a, a time or two where i've been in the woods at night had the flashlight out and had, you know, a couple of beady eyes looking at me and kind of tracking me as I was hiking along or whatnot. And it just gives you kind of the heebie-jeebies, you know, they're, it's really unlikely that anything's going to happen with any kind of animal, really, You're probably most likely to get injured by a moose, um, out of everything. But it's just a little creepy to think about something slinking around in the woods that you don't know about tracking you. My man, you just freaked me out here a little bit. <laughs> Okay, because I go on my on my pre morning runs in the mountain over here. There's a mountain lion there. Yeah, I used to be really nervous, but then I I met another wildlife person, Laura, who told me that you're really unlikely to get attacked by it. It's been living around people this whole time in Griffith Park, surrounded by people. You're not going to get attacked as long as you're not su- like surprise. You don't surprise it. So just make a lot of noise as you're as you're running, and you should be fine. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll play my music real loud. I'll kind of deter that um the bear thing i thought bears were a lot more aggressive i guess i was wrong Bear, i mean black bear um they're pretty tame they'll run away most of the time unless you're near a cub or something like that uh, grizzlies are more aggressive um, but you're not going to see them unless you go up to alaska or something you know you that's less of an issue but uh if I, I was in Alaska last summer and was on a backpacking trip. I had done a week of kayaking and then a week of backpacking um, and saw a grizzly across a valley from us um, through some binoculars, and it was running across this hillside. And, I mean, it, it must have been going 30 miles an hour, 30, 40 miles an hour across the side of the mountain. It was crazy to see how fast it could move over that terrain. What? Oh, Yeah. Yeah, it was like if you were driving an ATV across the side of a mountain. I mean, it was just clocking across the side of this hill. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's terrifying. And there and if if a moose is starting to attack you, there's really nothing you can do. No. I mean, you they're going to charge you, right? So they're going to they're going to charge you and try and gore you with their horns. So you might be able to Yeah, you know, my thought is always you could hop behind a tree and maybe you know, keep it from being able to get you. But yeah, it would not be a good situation to, to get charged by a moose and they can get pretty territorial and protective and they're huge. Jeez. They look like idiots. I mean, they look so dumb. Um, you know, if you've ever seen, look up a video of like a baby moose oh, I know. running. Oh my God. They look so stupid. But they're over a thousand pounds fully grown. Yeah. They're huge. They're huge. There's not, that, see now I'm now I'm nervous about mooses, <laughs> mooses, mooses or mooses. 
Me? Moose. I'm nervous about Moose. Moose Moose Moosai. Yeah, Moosai.